Welcome to Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013. Our trip to the show this year is powered by Corsair, maker of quality PC components and peripherals. Our trusted storage partner is Seagate Technology, and our trusted networking partner is Linux. Guys, we're hands-on with Project Shield. This is NVIDIA's new handheld gaming system based on Android, based on the Tegra processing technology. And we are going to showcase what I think on the internets right now is the biggest buzz about this particular little gaming console. Because we've all got phones at this point that we carry around. We can play games on a touch screen. But where do you get the integrated... Uh, the integrated controller, and where do you get the ability to stream from a GeForce graphics card powered PC? So, sorry, what was your name again? James is going to show us how this technology works with a live demo. Yes, this is, uh, you know, as I said already, a pretty unprecedented use case. No one's done this before. We all have really powerful PCs at our homes, you know, our PC gamers anyway, and we want to be able to play that more than just sitting on our desk. So, here you'll be able to connect through this and the picture will be rendered on your PC and then beamed over as H.264 video onto the uh, NVIDIA Shield handheld. So the interface is actually very simple. You can see you just press the mid button here and uh, now you can see which PCs you can pair to. Here we have Jensen's PC, our CEO's. Thank you for donating that Jensen. And uh, we just connect to it and it says it's connected. Now you have this very, very simple interface where you can select all of your those favorite PC games. Imagine playing Battlefield 3, you know, sitting on the couch instead of, you know, tied to your computer desk. So we can launch, for example, the for Speed, Most Wanted. And, uh, so there, can I get you to explain something really quick? Sure. This cable coming out of the back of the unit, that is not anything to do with the gaming experience you're having here on the screen. No, is that we're, correct? You know, we're at CES. There's a lot of Wi-Fi noise, so we to make sure we have good uh, good reception. We're just going with Ethernet right okay, now. Okay, but we but can do this wirelessly that's, at home. That's the intended use case. At home you're going to be using a Wi-Fi connection and so long as you have a pretty good router and a pretty up-to-date graphics card, you know, the latency is going to be very good. So in terms of ergonomics, it's so I would I would consider it to be sort of a good fit between being able to put your ring fingers right up under the handle here so that you can easily manage it with smaller hands. I think the intended use is not just the traditional audience of the hardcore gamers that NVIDIA has catered to, but I would expect kids to be using something like this. This will be so much more powerful that, I mean, especially someone like, I mean, I've got a young kid. I'd much rather get him something like this where he can leverage the power PC that I already have in my house. I already bought it. Why am I buying a game console that's not going to take advantage of it, right? So, you know what? You can use it like that, but you look at how long these handles are. Your hands are actually significantly bigger than my own. So I'd like you to just hold it there and show them how you can adjust your hand backwards on it so that you can easily reach the controls regardless of the size of your hands. The button layout is pretty simple. So for those of you who like the SNES controller, you're going to be able to use it just like that. For those of you who like a more modern controller, you can use it with the dual analog sticks. There's the two shoulder buttons up on each side, so you've got a trigger as well as a regular shoulder button and a headphone jack up here. We've got it plugged in using an Ethernet adapter and it looks like that is, is that a power connector as well? So this is running off battery. This is a, this is a makeshift a bracket with developed just for the CS show. Anyway, okay, got this it. This one exists, so okay. straight off. There's an SD card slot, micro HDMI, and uh, audio output. So don't worry guys, it's a lot more elegant than that. Uh, these plates on the top are actually interchangeable. So I haven't, I have not, whoa, okay, I don't know, I broke it. There we go, I'm probably going the wrong way at this point. So the screen is running at what resolution? 720p. So this is an HD gaming experience. I mean, that makes it pretty much close to something like a retina display given the size. Retina density. Speakers are awesome. In fact, I can even feel the vibration of the unit itself in my hands. Does it have a built-in vibration or is that just the speakers? Just the sound. That's very, very cool. So start and back button are integrated here and of course it is a full touch screen as well. Viewing angles, I want to get you guys a look at that because you can see, looking at the yellow of the car itself right there, I'm just going to turn the volume down just to, oh, there we go, Turn the, that's very intuitive actually. See, I didn't know how to do this. Uh, I want you to see the yellow of the car as I tilt it away from you, so if you have a friend sitting next to you, they want to look over your shoulder as is bound to happen with these kinds of really cool gadgets that other people want to check out, they're going to be able to see it. So um, have, I, have we missed anything critical? No, I think you've covered it. Tell me about the battery life. 
battery life, we're looking about five to 10 hours of battery life playing a, a Android-based game. But if you're playing with streaming PC, that's going to last even longer because all you're doing is decoding video on the device. Uh, all the heavy lifting uh, has been done on the PC. And I think I can speak for everyone when I say this is incredibly exciting, but I'm actually even more excited for something like a Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 5 product where we're going to be looking at 1080p or even greater display resolutions. We're going to be looking at the ability to do, I mean, this is, this is incredible. This is the beginning of a wonderful friendship. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. And a big thanks to NVIDIA for allowing us to get in here and get hands-on with Project Shield. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips. Don't miss any of our videos on CES 2013, and I'll see you guys next time.